Alrighty, good evening everyone. I've just been quickly checking through what objectives we still have open. Um, and it turns out there's a bunch. Uh, oh, we're about to have to go train the kids again. I might actually just skip a day because really we need more... Um, Need more skills mastered to be able to do that. Um, we oh, Uncle Barry doesn't open till nine. Uncle Barry is a lazy bastard. Uh, we need to talk to the Russians about the robots. Can we ask Dynamo? Ah, okay, Dynamo actually tells us things. Okay. That didn't honestly tell us anything. But we've now done that, so that's something, I suppose. You know what, I'm just going to do a couple hours of work. I mean, fine, we should look after the kids. I kind of don't really want to, but... Nothing. Uh, that's not X, that's X. Okay. Cool, we can get new equipment. We've also now finally worked out how to do this properly. So you need to keep the social bar filled and it makes everything else go faster. Which is what means you can actually do something useful. <laughs> uh. 
back to the junkyard, I guess. We can ask our equipment and do some work. Oh, it's probably under buy, isn't it? Wow. Ooh, also, blueprints for the robot. We need a lot of cash monies. yet so regular training it is for the whole day <laughs> have fun Think we should have enough time now to still finish this off. Yeah. Oh, this is just the robot version of Double Inhale, right? Now trying to think what the best way to be making money is gonna be not making money. Making money. We need to spend some time. We need to get rage. That's the main thing. 
You're only open until six, which is useless. Uh, we still need to go give the wrench back to the guy at Silver's. Not sure why we're just allowed to go randomly visit Bobo's house now. But I also kind of... I don't want to just be doing work, because we've got money for a while. So I don't want to be spending the energy on it. We... Interesting. Um, yeah. Okay. So... What is the benefit of us being able to go in there? <laughs> wasting time, wasting time. Doing whatever we can to waste time. Okay, I, I guess we just have popcorn. That's, that's a thing. Wow, so you're all about blocking. Anything interesting going on under the bridge? Hey, you dev! Okay. We've got the money. The language of poetry to the profane. Right. Okay. Kind of makes me wonder what happens now if we say yes. <laughs> if only we had AirPods. Can't hear anymore, he's got the airpods in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think you missed it. I mentioned it in the last one, Dev. But yeah, definitely the Avatar reference next to the Matrix reference. Okay, that just gives us access to another gate.
The game console gets you so much rage. Alright, so I need to spend 315. That, yeah, that explains all of the bonus Mutant Ninja Turtle references. Better be fucking ready. Okay, we got some options here again. But not many, so let's just uh, do it this way for now. Cool, we're done. Yeah, the problem is really more to do with how much time we're spending training people at our special dojo. Because uh, I'd rather do that than be a cop. I also only just, for some reason, considered the fact that Never mind, I'll fix it later. Because I can't do it easily without stopping the stream at the moment. But yeah, for next time I need to remember to move that camera down into the corner where it's not going to do anything stupid. spend all of the money. Except for that bit. Oh, the popcorn has now migrated from quest items to normal items. Oh dear. All of the gangs at once. But okay, cool. We have a quest.
Honestly, doing that seems less efficient now than just getting them to train. No, wrong button. Oh, might also be because low rage, actually. Training is over. Cool, we've got another tape. Mick is... Uh, Mick is... You know what? I'm gonna leave it there. At least this does not look like the toughest fight. Round one, victory. So those skills use up Tonus. But everything we haven't mastered yet uses Tonus. case where's shuffle hook gone that one and now I've lost it again that one yeah
feels weird that I'm using a fight to recover energy, but, you know. So I guess you're going to be Taekwondo? Yep. You're actually potentially vaguely tough. This will be interesting. Except much like when we were fighting Ruth in Silvers, we can pin you against the side of the arena and just beat the ever-loving crap out of you, so... to say there's no way he was coming back from that. <sighs> Maybe you should come to the gym. genuinely got thrown by the fact it says Adriana. <laughs> Something else. How about new? I am going to, but only because I was trying to take the time to do something else. That's what I was trying to do. 
is find something that was going to take exactly 20 minutes. And then forget that I used up the inventory at the gym. Which means... Quickly nip back there, wasting a bunch of money. Oh, I could have just used the vending machine. And I'm an idiot. exactly enough time to fill up the duty progress bar. <laughs> Thankfully, we don't need to be here. And as long as we are here, though, let's go visit Henry, because we have a new tape. Herbivorous 2! We need that. Um, old school respect. And we are at least making money faster with the training now we've got a reliable way of doing it than actually even working for the Mafia. Oh, of course it is. Thank you. I was trying to work out what it was last time when we got Herbivorous 1. Yeah, I was. my brain was stuck on Terminator. It's going to be 5.35, so we still need two hours from somewhere. Uh, 
Now let's put our robot in a fight. We've not done a robot fight for a bit. When we're charged up, we should have the stats to win. Honestly, I think we're good without even bothering with that. Oh, and of course, we're actually going to heal a little bit between rounds as well, which is going to help us out. We are pretty much going to be winning this one by stall. So the opponent's relying on the uh, battery pack hit, and we're just recharging. So. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Arms A blueprint. <laughs> All we have to do is build a fusion reactor. There is indeed, it's right there. Okay, so 50 is gonna leave 135. something that I can do for five minutes. Cool. Everybody get on the fucking mats.
The improvement is definitely happening. Oh, and now we get paid more because we've got more students. Hey, Rain. Okay, so fight o'clock it is. So you're the weak warm up fight. Oh yeah, we're heavily invested in fisting today. Yep, no kicksmanship, only fisting. See, I think we're pretty good to just run it back for this one. But we're going to have this, and then we're going to have the Taekwondo guy. And then we add somebody else to the gym, so the gym makes more money. Hmm. Still got more energy than you do. But I'm not going to push it. Let's put a double inhale on. Stop letting him hit you. Yeah, okay. Now we go back to shovel hook. Oh no, Aikido.
and not the strongest Aikido fighter either. There we go, couple of solid hits in. I think it's pretty clear at this point that we win. The question is, are we going to defeat the enemy before the end of the last round, or are we going to go to time? We're not even going to go to the last round. Why do we keep introducing them to Mick? When that we're not actually using the neuro trainers, it seems foolish to keep that on. Yeah, build a fusion reactor. We still need to get promoted at Bobo's. We still need to give the wrench to the works dude in uh, Silver's gym. And at some point, we need to find when Uncle Barry is open and we're not already busy and join a league. <laughs> to be her, I guess. Also, we should definitely spend some time getting our Tonus back. Anything that's only going to take five minutes. I'm pretty sure the answer to that is no. So I think. 
think we take the bus to Mix House and then just do anything. Where this bar is going up faster with more people, which is definitely a good thing, don't get me wrong. I want to see if we can try and hit the bonus money level. I don't think we're going to get there, but we can certainly try. We might. Damn. Yeah, no, we're done. want to go talk to Uncle Barry and then we want to take the bus to Bobo's Gym's open, we can also drop off the wrench. Here's a wrench. The hell is extra powerful mode? That's a lot of training. And it might come to that, so, you know. Get a job as a vegetable metaphor consultant. That sounds fun. Okay. Yeah, basically. Although I think we can't use it at the moment because I turned off the um, the neuro trainer chip. No, I hadn't. I just didn't want to talk to you. <laughs> Very brave heart. Raw shack. I mean, we're technically not. We've got more GPP than 12th place. And because. Yeah, okay, fine.
So I'm not expecting this to be too difficult. But I probably run faint. And we put the shovel hook back. Anyway, yeah, sure. For the time being, though, Bobo's farm. All we need to do is finish this bar thus We're just going to have to fight either the policeman or the delivery dude again, aren't we? remember to uh, mute Mastodon before I go live. Uh, I've never remembered yet and I don't see myself starting now. Actually, slightly wondering if we could beat Silver in the mech. Kinda getting there. Oh, there's only two rounds. We don't use strength toners for anything. Get up, get up. Kick him. Yes. It's not a delivery. <sighs> there, I thought we were going to get away with it. Um, where's my shovel hook gone? Shovel hook is down. Uh, is that a dodge? Oh no, okay, so we don't need faint because you're not dodging.
So not that much raw power then. We punch the... no, wait, hang on. Uh, we are the best at punching slimes. That's where I was trying to go with that. Okay, so now we've only got chapter two things to do. Build a fusion reactor. Also, technically, I guess, chapter three things? Anyway. Yeah, next time we get a gap between our various jobs, we can go into the sewers and look at setting up the um, reactor for the robot. This is strength, I think. Okay, so these do multiple things. But none of them do strength. Where's the third one? What is the third one? Oh, is the horizontal bar? The horizontal bar does everything. can train, I guess. We'll do work. Put the robot to work for a bit. individual. Uh, I do love all the weird little Demolition Man references, I'm not gonna lie. Everybody just do some stuff. See, the thing I like about that is we only get penalised if we miss two shifts in a row. Which means that we are basically incentivized to keep skipping police work. 
Which seems, honestly, like the appropriate thing to do with police work. So... How much are Grisha's blueprints? Uh, I didn't want work, I wanted buy. <laughs> So we can now get in here, which takes less time. I would genuinely like to know what the hell is going on with all of these robots. Nano machines, son. Gonna hit like a truck, though. is burning so much energy to try and hit us. And frankly, not even doing a very good job. I had to turn the nano machines off just so it doesn't pass out. This is very risky. I might have been better off not doing it this way. We might get away with it. Yep. Just. I send a plague on both your legs. Okay. I also like the fact this is canonically taking zero time. <sighs> I knew there had to be an Iron Man reference eventually. Hmm. 
I guess we should probably repair the robot. Done. And that just, yeah, takes us down here. But we can't actually use that arcade. Or interact despite the interact button. Okay. You are fully charged. Let's get you more agility. Um, and then what do we actually need to do? We should probably look at quests. Uh, nothing. Get ready for a fight, I guess? chips. <laughs> More effective. Click. So much more energy than the opponent does. The opponent is going to be dodging, so we run faint. Okay. This does not seem to be the best opponent we've ever faced. Given he seems to be spending all his initiative dodging. And then getting stuck on the ropes.
There we go. A fairly easy victory. So, who's up next in Division 2? Old school boxing, you say? I mean, it's pretty old school. We have Jab and Gold's Block. I'm pretty sure we actually just go for that one. You know, when it becomes available. Um... What have we got by way of quest items? Police badge, mech. Also, let's look higher up the table. So, let's chat. 23, 11, 12. Yeah, we need to do some training. Okay. Also, I wanted to look up when this game came out. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is super recent. A lot more recent than I thought. In which case, the guy in the interrogation room, when we do our police shifts, is almost certainly Johnny Silverhand from Cyberpunk 2077. Go here. Yeah, I don't think we risk it doing any more work right now. We go home, we sleep, we make a food. We do some training. Fifty-five. Forty-five. Forty. Forty. One forty. One ten. 105. Okay, 105 is the best we've got. You're all psyched up.
thing is, the way this works kind of suggests that there must be an equivalent for the police job. And it makes me wonder what it is. And it's like, are we just going to have to, like, arrest a bunch of peeps? Nah, we're going to hit the bonus, but that's about it for this one. But that's fine. We can use the remaining time to refill social. go through that little gap. Felipe, Felipe. You're going to have to fight the drunk. Oh, it's very brave heart. You're in our fighting league. And also kind of stronger than we are. Which is not ideal. Um, especially because currently... We're set up for gold, not for you. Those were some big hits. Uh, he's reducing his block because he's running out of energy. We the ones who ran out of energy. Twice.
fine. We definitely do have more training we need to do. Oh. Forgot to sign in. Whoops. all the buttons at once by accident and it doesn't work. I need to go see if the Yakuza have robot parts. They do not. Also, kind of want to try this. Getting hold of some of that. You aren't wrong, actually, Dev. I have not thought about that. Um, I don't know that I would be that confident about it not being intentional. <laughs> Given the detail they've put into references in this, like, you know, there was one line that starts talking about the toilet seashells. And you kind of get to, yeah, that's not an accident. Or, um, like, the details that they put into what Simon Phoenix says. And so the rep bars do have different colours, I think, don't they? Oh, no, okay, yeah, the bars themselves, rather than just the letters. I think there was one of the GTA games that did do it that way, though. I thought 3 still did. Vice City certainly didn't, but I thought 2 and 3 both did. Because it was um, Yakuza Mafia Triads, wasn't it? And I think you're supposed to in this. It's more just that I didn't. Oh, okay, yeah, with you.
No, because that's going to replace the yak as a chip. Almost certainly. Yeah, fine. Yeah, I remember it being a pain trying to balance getting all of the reputation bars up. And this does the same thing with that. Although, this is, they're all enemies with each other. There's not, like, the sworn enemy. Yeah. This ain't going well, is it? It didn't help that we got no blocks for ages, so he just took all our health away. Get our Thomas back again. But why am I doing it on there and not on here? do have some spare time, which means we can jump in here, we do this, and then we do extreme neuro training.
Let's go see what we can do in the workshop for a bit. Blueprint for that. Fine, I'll find the right page. Also, the damage control face is definitely an id character health portrait. I'm not entirely sure if it's meant to be Doom Guy or um, Blackovich, but it's one of the two. Yeah, I was thinking it's probably Doom Guy, but the hair looks wrong to me. And I don't know if that's just because it's blue scale, but... Oh yeah, I forgot about um, Mobile Suit Gundam there. Uh, they are. The fun one is that they are also the relative of Commander Keen. Um, and if I remember rightly... BJ is the ancestor of Doom Guy, who is the ancestor of Commander Keen. <laughs> it's one of my favourite bits of like random bullshit lore that they clearly shoehorned in after the fact. Remember to sign in for a fight. Oh, we received a league challenge. Yeah, fine. You were pretty easy. You should now be easier. Do we still have access to... Yeah, okay, we still have access to, like, the ghetto. I was a little curious.
Time for training. Uh, no good trainings in there. So, general workout it is. Get the motivation back up. Back to training. Also feeling like I should at some point just like go and buy all of the paint colours from our poo. Still got three hours. More donuts. Oh, we don't actually need to do that. We've already maxed it. also have a league fight soon. So... 
We have the Sakuratias right before the League fight. Do the fight. Then... Go to the towers with the rage buff from the fight. I don't know where that's originally from now. Because I can't imagine they're referencing the place I know it from. <laughs> so the place I know it must have been referencing somewhere else. Working just because it takes up time. to make sure that rage stays high. Have the Sakura Tears fight Goro. What I also just realised is Goro. Why does delete bring other things back? Okay. That one I was never going to spot, so... <laughs> also, the flying tentacle robot looks kind of like um, the infiltration bots in the XCOM 2 remake. Why are we doing nothing? These are all set to shuffle hook. Let's just do this with it and see if... Genuinely curious why our character wasn't attacking at all there. I'm going to give this one more attempt for tonight.
I think this game's got confused about which things we have in which slots at this point. Or we just aren't allowed to use Shovel Hook for some reason. It's not even that he's blocking, it's we are not actually attacking. We have three shovel hooks set. And he just spent three turns not doing anything. We have energy, we have initiative, we have nothing set that isn't an attack. Yeah, I'm... I think that is going to do it for now because clearly something's going weird here. Uh, and also I have my usual long day in the office tomorrow, so I need rest. Um, so yeah, as ever, thank you all for joining me. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.